So today when we want to anticipate what will be the effects of an earthquake, we take into account in our scenarios uh, a number of informations. One is the location, the size of the folds, the quality of the soils, and some basic properties of uh, these future earthquakes, in particular their magnitude. And there's another property of an earthquake that has a large impact on uh, the intensity of the shaking, which is the speed of the earthquake. Um, and this is more rarely taken into account in our scenarios. Uh, the earthquake in Indonesia gave us an opportunity to learn more about earthquake speeds, uh, and this will help us advance in how we prepare for earthquakes. The speed of an earthquake is mainly controlled by the speed at which seismic waves can travel in the rocks that surround a fault. Uh, it's a little bit like on a highway. There is a maximum limit of speed uh, you can drive uh, on a highway. But for an earthquake, there's something peculiar, is that there's also an intermediate range of forbidden speeds. So the maximum speed is for an earthquake would be around six kilometers per second. And this intermediate forbidden range would be between 3.5 and 4.5 kilometers per second. The earthquake in Indonesia, according to our analysis, happened to travel at a speed that is in that forbidden intermediate range. And that was uh, a big surprise for us. So this unusual observation shakes a bit our conventional models of earthquakes. And we have to think about what, how to explain this. Um, fortunately, we have been developing new models uh, in which earthquakes uh, happen on faults that are surrounded by damaged rocks. Um, a fault can host a number of earthquakes through its history, and each earthquake will fracture the rock in the 100 or 200 meters that surround the fault. And those fractured rocks have much lower wave speeds than the intact rocks. And by this, they can manage to slow down an earthquake and uh, actually make it run at speeds that would be unusual or unexpected or forbidden in an intact uh, rock. If our interpretation of the observations uh, is correct, uh, it would mean that we need to do more work in uh, characterizing the damaged rocks that uh, surround faults and then make use of that information to improve the way we anticipate the rupture speed of earthquakes and their effect on the shaking. The EDEX uh, UCAGDI uh, project um, funds an uh, excellence chair for my team uh, by which we can fund postdocs and also international exchanges. And uh, one of the big topics that is uh, funded through this opportunity is uh, our research on uh, the interactions between earthquakes and uh, the damage of the surrounding uh, rocks.